Okay, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go through my June favourites. Um, I was actually going to film my summer lookbook but it's absolutely pissing it down right now so I don't think that's the most summery vibe for a summer lookbook. So yeah, I'm like, oh, however, let's do June favourites. Um, I'm actually in California right now as this video will be going live. Um, so sorry if there is kind of like sporadic videos and blog posts going up um, because obviously I'm away and I had to like schedule in a load of stuff and yeah it's just a bit all over the place but hey there you go I'm in California anyway so yeah when I get back from California there'll be lots and lots of good stuff going up on my channel um, however let's get on with June favourites Okay, so I'm gonna start with makeup. And I have a few favourites this month. It's always probably the biggest category in my favourites. Um, and I don't even have that many favourites this month either. But my number one favourite, which I've basically worn every single day since I bought it, which was about a month ago, is my Guerlain Lingerie Depot Foundation. And I have the shade 303. Um, but basically this is a tan in a bottle. But it's like a nice tan. It's not like... Um, orangey, although you, what I would say is you do have to make sure you buff it in properly with your foundation brush because sometimes it can look a little bit patchy if you, you know, it's not one of those ones that's like quick. You do have to spend a bit of time buffing this in, but it is so nice. I love Guerlain for the summer, not for the winter because I'm as white as snow in winter, or close to it. But in the summer I get a tan and I need a darker foundation and this is a really, really good colour for me just now. And it's just so beautiful. It's long lasting, it's high coverage, but usually that would scare me in the summer because you want something light and glowy. This is still glowy, but it's not light, but it's not heavy though, is what I'm trying to say. Um, even though it's not like a tinted moisturizer or a, or like the Chanel um, Lumiere Velvet one that I also love. It's, it is more high coverage than that but it's not heavy, it's not cakey. This honestly goes on almost like a gel, like foundation. I don't know, it just, it, the way it buffs into the skin is like, oh my God, amazing. It's like my favorite foundation just now. And every time I try to use something different, I'm like, but I love this one better. I love it more, I, I want to wear it. So I've ended up wearing it every single day since I bought it. In mascara, which I also have on my face right now, um, is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. Um, and I don't know if this is waterproof or not, um, but yeah, I really like it. I usually though have two coats of this and it is a mascara that you can build up and it doesn't get clumpy. Um, I have always wanted to try the Fall Slash Effects mascara from Maybelline, but um, when I went in store, I don't know, this one just jumped out at me. I just, I don't know, like, I think I'd heard like quite good things about it. Tanya Burr uses this one, I think. And yeah, I just wanted to give it a go. Um, I'm always really impressed with high street um, mascaras, um, a lot of the time more so than expensive mascaras. So yeah, I love, always love buying myself a new mascara because um, I there's something I get bored of quite a lot. Like I'll have a mascara for like a couple of weeks and I'll be like, Ugh, I want to use something different. But I really, really like this so far. I've not got bored of it um, and it just really, really lengthens the lashes. Um, that would be the main thing is what I would say. It really, really lengthens the lashes. I do need to curl my eyelashes though. I need to start doing that because mascaras for me don't really hold a curl. So I do need to start um, actually curling my lashes before I put mascara on. But it really lengthens them and really separates them. And as I say, I put two coats on. Okay, so I've got a couple of lip products. Um, and the first one is a nude one. So I've got a nude and a bright, but I'll start with a nude. And this is actually the lip gloss that, um, well it's like a lipstick gloss that Kim Kardashian wore on her wedding day. And it is, it's got such a long name, I actually wrote it down. Okay, so it is the L'Oreal Extraordinaire Colour Riche Lipstick in Nude Ballet. So the shade is Nude Ballet. Um, and yeah, this is the actual lip product that she wore on her wedding day. Um, I've got a blog post all about this and loads of pictures of me wearing it. So I will link that below if you want to check that out. But basically it's just a really nice, you can't really see that. It's just a really nice nude. It's kind of like a brownie nude. 
um, but on the lip it just gives this gorgeous glossy effect and it just covers any imperfections on your lips. Yeah, so if it's good enough for Kim Kardashian, it's good enough for me. Okay, so the next um, kind of lip product favourite that I've been loving is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in Ole Flamingo. I love the name. The, these pro these lipsticks I've heard so much about. They, they're like huge raves. So when I went into Boots, I was like, I've got to try this. And believe me, they are even better than the reviews. Like literally, this is like one of the best lip formulas I have tried in a long while. Um, they go on matte. Well... They go on like wet, like a like a lip, like a like a lip lacquer, um, but they dry matte and they like sink into the lip, but not like showing the cracks or anything, but like so that you can't feel like there's anything on your lips. Like every time I wear it, I'm always like, you know, just like tapping my lips or whatever, and then I'm remembering, oh my god, I've got lipstick on. There, it's like so strange. Like you just literally feel like nothing is on your lips. Yeah, they're really opaque, really good um, color, um, really bright. I love the Ole Flamingo colour. I want to get the, there's like another, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's a really bright pink, a bit like what I've got on today. Um, so I want to get another one of those. Um, but the formula, I'm just blown away with the formula. It's so, so, so good. So long lasting, so not drying. And yeah, just amazing. I absolutely love these. So yeah, I really recommend getting them. Okay, so moving on to skincare. And I'm gonna start with um, Inhibitive. I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand, but basically it is like a, um, a hair minimizer. Like it reduces the growth of your hair. It doesn't remove your hair, it just reduces the growth. But it's like a long-term thing, so it's not instant. You use this for um, six to eight weeks. I've been using it for maybe three weeks. Um, so when I've done the full kind of go of it all. Um, I will put a blog post on my blog reviewing it and see if it does actually work. Um, but what I will say is I bought the, the mist first of all in the can and oh my god it was done within the week. I think I only used it for one week and the whole thing was gone and it is expensive. The can was like £23 so like I was like hmm no way. I was so disappointed but I heard so much about the serum that I went back and got it and this was £30. Um, but as I said, I've been using it for three weeks and I've used not not half, nearly half I'd say, but not quite half. Um, so it might do me to the eight weeks. Um, but I do spray quite a lot on my legs. Um, and yeah, I've been really enjoying using it. It's You do have to use it morning and night, but sometimes I don't always manage that. But I just when I get out of the shower, um, I've dried myself, I then spray my body with this. Then I leave a little bit of, like just drying time and um, then I put my moisturiser on. So yeah, it's a little bit of a faff, a little bit of an extra step. But you know, if it reduces your hair and totally minimise, like, because honestly hair is like the worst thing, especially in summer, um, it's just such a pain, like shaving, waxing, uh, uh, just so annoying. So if there's a product that will minimise your hair growth, it will just make life so much easier for you. So I'm definitely prepared to give this a go. And so far, um, I haven't noticed a huge difference. I will say that. I've not noticed a huge difference. I maybe noticed a little bit of a difference with my hair growth. But as I say, I'm only two or three weeks in, so um, I will be giving it its full course. Okay, so on to hair, and I have one thing, and I, this is probably, this is definitely featured in a favourite videos before, but I basically, I ran out of it and then it took me for some reason so long to get, to buy it again. Um, I don't know, because it's, it's not, it's not pricey because it's just L'Oreal, but it is £10, so I don't know if that just like put me off buying it again, but, um, yeah, I just finally got it and I'm so glad I did because I just absolutely love it, even more than the first time I bought it. I use this especially when I curl my hair. So basically what it is, I've not told you what it is, but it's L'Oreal's Extraordinary Oil. Um, and this one's the one for coloured hair. They do a few different types. This is the one for coloured hair because I have coloured hair. And basically I just take a few pumps of it. I rub it in my hands. And if I have straight hair, I would just like have, you know, put it on the ends just because my ends get really dry. Um, and maybe a little bit on the top. Only a little bit because, you know, you don't want to make your hair greasy. Although it's a really light oil. I mean, oil in your hair you think grease, but it's not like that at all. Um, but then when I curl my hair, I take 
oh my hands again but I just like go through all of my hair and it just gives your hair the most gorgeous shine and because it's kind of curled anyway it just oh my god it makes it look so much better it's like amazing when you curl your hair your hair's all nice but honestly when you put this through it it just makes it look a hundred times better it's amazing I honestly I absolutely love it it's called Miracle Hair Perfector and it really really is Okay guys, so I have a fashion favourite for you this month. Um, it is a skirt from New Look and I've been wearing this quite a lot to my work. Because um, it has been a bit sunny, or it's not today, but <laughs> it has been. Um, and so I've just been wearing this, it's like a little pencil skirt. I actually featured this in my um, spring lookbook, so I will link that below and I'll try and insert some footage just now of me wearing it. Um, I really really love the colour, this is like my all time favourite colour, like I wear it on my nails, any kind of clothing that I see in it, anything, I'll always pick up this colour, um, this kind of like lavender blue, I just love it. Um, so yeah, I really like it, it's this kind of like lace effect um, and it's really kind of figure hugging but it doesn't make you look fat because it doesn't like, it's a kind of, it's figure hugging but it doesn't show up all your fat so it's hard to explain but honestly it, it's a good one. Um, the only thing I would say is because it doesn't have any slits at the back, usually a pencil skirt would have a little slit, it does tend to ride up when you're walking so I just have to keep pulling it down but I really really like it and also the kind of good thing is when it rides up the lace bit stays down and the underskirt kind of goes up so it actually just shows like you know like this, it just kind of shows your skin kind of through it and it's actually a really nice effect. Um, so yeah, I just absolutely love this skirt. I think it's so, so pretty. The pastel colours are just perfect for this time of year and I've just been obsessed with wearing this. And this was like £15. So, so cheap. Okay guys, so that was quite short. Short for me anyway, because usually these videos are so long. But um, yeah, that is all my favourites for this month. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more. Um, tell me what you were loving um, in the month of June in the comments below. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see a lot of summer posts coming up. Um, as I said, like I'm in California just now when this goes live. Um, I actually leave though in a week's time, which I'm just like so, so excited about. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to be putting lots of outfit posts and I'm going to be doing like a video of what we're getting up to in California and I'm just so, so, so excited. And um, yeah, sorry if I'm rubbing it in, but I hope you have got lots of lovely summer plans. Um, and yeah, I, I, um, I'm going to leave it there, but um, I will see you in my next video. Whatever that may be, I haven't quite decided yet. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you later. Bye!